Alright, mathematical types. I'm going to address the 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 2 uh, thing that's been going on all over the internet over the last couple of days. So there's a lot of uh, argument over whether the answer is 1 or 9. And many people are pointing to Google and Excel and uh, other graphing calculators that show that the answer is 9. And then there's other people that have different calculators that show that the answer is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over why I believe it to be 1 and not 9. I'm going to provide you many proofs that will um, pretty much defunct anybody else's proofs that say that it's 9. So let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so what we're going to talk about first is use substitution. Use substitution is something that people can do to make a complex problem easier to understand. Um, it's extremely popular when you're doing um, integrals or even some trig, for that matter, or dealing with trig functions. So an example of that would be, let's say you're in the middle of a, a problem and, and you came up to uh, sine of theta, let's say 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta plus 1. And you are lost as to what you should do next with the problem, um, mainly because you have all these signs and everything going on. Well, you can do what's called u-substitution, where you say u is equal to sine of theta. So now what I do is in each of these spots where there's sine of theta, I plug in a u uh, squared, so I get u squared plus 1. And now I look at that and I recognize, hey, that looks like a regular polynomial. And the normal form would be u squared plus 2u plus 1. And with that, I could factor uh, that into be u plus 1 times u plus 1. And uh, if I was looking for zeros in an equation, uh, I could now set either of these equal to zero and solve. But before I solved, um, if I just did u plus 1 equals zero, I would want to be sure to take that u, sine theta, and plug that back in to the equation so that eventually I can see that the sine of theta is equal to negative 1. Which if we were to go in a unit circle, we'd probably see that that means it was in here. Anyways, so that's u substitution. Now that's, I'm, I'm bringing that up because it helps people understand how uh, certain equations can be assembled. Now it's just another way of taking uh, a, a letter or a function and putting something that's in its place. Just like if I was to say 7 divided by 2y, uh, that could be a u, that could be an x of anything, and y could represent uh, a variable. Um, it could be unknown or known. It could be part of a function. We could say y could equal um, g of x. So the function g of x gives us the answer y. And g of x could be anything. It could be, you know, 6x plus 4x squared could equal y. And so what you would do then is you would say that 7 divided by 2 times 6x plus 4x squared would be the equation that you have. Um, and if you were to just say 7 over 2y, then you'd be correct. Writing 7 over 2 times y would be incorrect, because that is not at all what this is saying. This is saying that there are two y's. Now, if you notice, there's parentheses here, because the 2 is associated with that function. Which brings us to this problem right here. You'll see that again we have parentheses and this. That very easily could be 6 divided by 2 times x plus 2, or x represent anything. And many people would go, oh yeah, well obviously that's 2x plus 4. Uh, that's just been factored out, you know. And uh, so if I was to write that, it'd be 6 over 2x plus 4. Oops, getting a little sloppy there. Now there's, there's no difference there because it's an x versus if it was a 1. For some reason, some people believe that because there's an, an x there, it's that. But if there was a 1, you magically somehow have an entirely different equation. Which obviously cannot be the case, because then you'd have two different uh, answers. Because in this case, you could very easily say, well, the x, uh, at this point in time, x equals 1. Well, if x equals 1, it turns out the answer is 1. So... <clears throat> 
uh, some people say, well, I, I plugged into Google and Google or Excel tells me the answer is nine. Well, of course it does because what you plugged in was six slash two times one plus two. Well, what this slash does is you're telling the computer that it's six halves. And people say, well, that's, just, you know, you're, you're saying six divided by two. Well, yeah, technically six halves is six divided by two. But when you plug it into the computer, you're giving it this fraction because you could very easily be saying seven thirteenths, right? And so if you did seven divided by 13 times one plus two, right, it's going to take the seven thirteenths as a fraction. It's going to assume it's a fraction and then multiply it by that value. And that is easy to see because if you punch in this into Google, on their calculator, it pops out this. It says 6, 2. It adds parentheses to it and then says 1 plus 2. Well, the reason it adds the parentheses is because it thought you wanted the fraction 6 over 2. If, however, if you use the San Casio calculator, and this one here is uh, able to recognize this type of notation, and you say 6 divided by 2 parentheses, okay, there you go, 1 plus 2, close parentheses. Well, it knows that 2 very well could have just been factored out of that parentheses there, and it gives you a 1. But if you were to say 6 divided by 2 times the quantity 1 plus 2, well, now you're adding a function in here. You're saying this function has to happen, and you're removing the association of this, and therefore your PEMDAS um, applies, and you go from left to right. Heck, it doesn't matter which way you go in this one because you've now added this other function there. 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 2 equals 9. So the plain fact of the matter is that equals 1 because that's no different than saying 2y. And y equals 1 plus 2. That's no different than saying 2u. And u equals 1 plus 2. That's no different than saying anything else like that. Even if you had 2 and y in parentheses, it's the exact same thing. The answer is 1.